everything I saw was just... I, there, were, there, are no, there are no words for it. You, you go back to your home and you see in a different place, a place that is no longer as happy as it used to be. You see people really fighting to move forward. And good morning, everyone. 631 on the East Coast. We're coming on the air right now because Hurricane Maria has made landfall on Puerto Rico. And this is the scene in Puerto Rico right now. A powerful Category 4 storm. Maria is hitting with 155 mile an hour winds, torrential rain, the strongest storm this island has faced in nearly a century. The first pictures now coming in from Puerto Rico after taking a direct hit. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island. And as you heard, one official saying the island is destroyed. So I was abroad last semester. I studied in Seville, Spain. Um, and before Maria hit, uh, we had Hurricane Irma, which ended up hitting uh, Miami very strongly. Um, just happened to brush Puerto Rico. And that happened the day I actually got to Spain, which was September 1st to 5th um, was the range. And then on September 19th, um, the day before Maria hit, it was very clear that the hurricane was going to be very catastrophic. Um, during those 33 and a half hours, obviously there was very little sleep for all of us who have family on the island. Um, I spoke to so many people I had not spoken to in years um, because everyone was just worried because no one was getting any information. Um, it was just very hard to be so far away, um, have no Puerto Ricans around me, um, no one that could like really understand what my family was going through. So I was, I came back to Puerto Rico on December 20th, um, so three months after the hurricane. Um, and I, flew, I actually got the chance to fly in um, during the day. So I was able to see the houses still covered in blue tarps because the roofs had been blown off. Um, you could see uh, roads just completely blocked off still by debris. Um, you, can, you could see the electrical um, posts and uh, lamps and anything having to do with the grid system in reality completely down. Um, it had been 90, 91 days at that point and electricity was still sometimes here, sometimes not. It is, um, I, I mean, there are no words for how amazing it is that as Wamonk we are now able to work directly with Direct Relief because people are still suffering. It's not only in Puerto Rico, there are areas around the world that suffer natural disasters and being able to help them is so important because it might be, it, it was my family and is uh, my home of Puerto Rico today, um, but we, we know this will happen again. Um, it will happen again in Puerto Rico, it would happen again in Dominican Republic, Cuba, all over the world. It doesn't really matter where you are from, um, some, at some point you will need help and being able to count on um, direct relief to provide food and water to the people of Puerto Rico is something that is indispensable. It was essential to be able to like to be able to have people in Puerto Rico continue to live basically.